we're going to begin a new book um, in the Magic Treehouse series, but you'll notice that we're skipping quite a ways ahead. We're skipping up to number 20 because this one ha um, takes place somewhere familiar, somewhere we're studying right now. Do you notice the animals? A kangaroo, a koala, and a dingo. So this is called Dingoes at Dinner Time. And of course, it's written by Mary Pope Osborne. But we are doing things out of sequence because I really want to get you into this because I think it will be very interesting. So one summer day in Frog Creek, Pennsylvania, a mysterious treehouse appeared in the woods. Eight-year-old Jack and his seven-year-old sister Annie climbed into the treehouse. They found that it was filled with books. Jack and Annie soon discovered that the treehouse was magic. It could take them to the places in the books. All they had to do was point to a picture and wish to go there. Along the way, Jack and Annie discovered that the treehouse belongs to Morgan Le Fay. Morgan is a magical librarian from the time of King Arthur. She travels through time and space, gathering books. In Magic Treehouse books 5 through 8, Jack and Annie help free Morgan from a spell. In books 9 through 12, they solve four ancient riddles and become master librarians. In Magic Treehouse books 13 through 16, Jack and Annie had to save four ancient stories from being lost forever. In Magic Treehouse books 17 through 20, Jack and Annie must be given four special gifts to help free an enchanted dog from a spell. They have already received a gift on on a trip to the Titanic, a gift from the Lakota Indians, and a gift from a forest in India. Now they are about to set out in search of their last gift. Chapter 1, The Last Gift Annie sat on the porch steps. She stared down the street at the Frog Creek Woods. Hey, Jack, she said. Do you hear it? Jack sat next to her. He was reading a book. Hear what? he said. Teddy's calling us, said Annie. You're kidding, said Jack, but he looked down the street and listened too. A faint bark, a faint bark came from the distance. Arf, arf. A big smile crossed Jack's face. You hear it? Annie said. Yep, said Jack. You're right. Time to go. He stood up and grabbed his backpack. Be back soon, Annie shouted through the screen door. Don't be late for dinner, her dad called. We won't, said Jack. He and Annie ran down the street into the Frog Creek Woods. Soon they came to the tallest oak. There was the magic tree house. A little black nose stuck out the window. Hey, silly, Annie called. We're coming. Arf, came a happy bark. Annie grabbed the rope ladder and started climbing. Jack followed her up into the tree house. A small dad, dog sat in the circle of afternoon sunshine. His tail wagged. Hey, Teddy, said Jack. Jack and Annie hugged Teddy, and the dog licked them both. Morgan's note is still here, said Annie. Yep, said Jack. He knew the note by heart now. This little dog is under a spell and needs your help. To free him, you must be given four special things. A gift from a ship lost at sea, a gift from the prairie blue, a gift from a forest far away, a gift from a kangaroo. Be wise. Be brave. Be careful, Morgan. Beside the note were the gifts from their first three trips. A pocket watch from the Titanic, an eagle's feather from the prairie skies, a lotus flower from a forest in India. We just need to get a gift from a kangaroo, said Annie, and Teddy will be free from his spell. We must be going to Australia, said Jack. That's where kangaroos live. Cool, said Annie. Teddy whined and scratched at a book lying in the corner. Jack picked it up. What did I tell you? He said. He showed her the cover. The title was Adventure in Australia. Great, said Annie. She looked at Teddy. Ready to meet a kangaroo? Arf, arf. Jack opened the book. He found a page with small pictures of different animals and a big picture of a forest. Jack pointed at the forest. I wish we could go there, he said. The wind started to blow. The treehouse started to spin. It spun faster and faster. Then everything was still. Absolutely still. Tune in next time for chapter two.